Welcome back guys, it's Kids Coding Playground here and today we're back for another video. So, this is a uh, Space Invader game so I'll show you in a minute. But first, I have to ask you about Easter. So, Easter, I know, um, people still do Easter hunting, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, I haven't done Easter hunting in six years, so I don't really know. Um, so, Easter hunting, yeah, I'm pretty sure some people still do that, so... Comment in the comment section below if you did Easter hunting. So, it's great if you did. So, anyways, let's get started. So, this is going to be the demo. Look, there's scrolling stars on the background. It's just a really cool thing for some stars. And then there's a start button and there's arrows for switching. So, first, you can click on this just to change the skin to this, 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 plenty of skins, you can even use previous, so you might go, you can, you can go back, there's a bunch of skins to choose from, you guys can be creative, I, I tried to go creative and color them random, so, it's a lot of skins I made, so yeah, so you just toggle these arrows to change, to have your skin, and click the start button, so use the arrow keys to move, you can go up and down, so I'm going, so you see my shield in the uh, top right? I'm losing shield whenever I touch something. It says you lost and, oh yeah. So whenever they touch something, if you haven't noticed, they change the color effect to make some extra detail. Like if you ever play Minecraft and you hit something, they have, they turn the mob red. So that's basically what we're doing. So, so here, look, you can shoot the lasers with the space key and it will kill the um, monsters. So as you can see, my score is going up right now. So this is great. Uh, and you can just uh, go in the comments of my video or in my scratch project and comment what your high score was. So you can go up, down, side, right, left, up, down. So there's a lot of functions in this game. So, anyways, let's get started. So, first things first, you have to start out strong. So, first, bye bye. Second, open backpack. So, I'm known for opening my backpack because that's how I am. Because I can't draw all of these in one video, or else you'll be watching a time lapse of me drawing random spaceships. So, there's a bunch of costumes on this one. So. I already have all of that. You don't have to copy our costumes completely, like this and this. I just made up. So, so um, you can get this one from the Sprite Library. This one's from Scratch too. So we've been doing Scratch for quite a while. These are from Scratch too. This one we just downloaded from online. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So I'm gonna go rocket ship. So you just have to go to costumes. I bet all of you guys know how to do this. You guys are great coders. So you just have to do this. Bam, 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 bam. Just color it like the amount you want. Like what's your favorite color? You can just color your spaceship that. So it can be red, it can be blue. Doesn't matter what it can be because it depends on what your favorite color is. So. You could make this tip. No, black wouldn't work because there's a starry background. Like, no, not red. Maybe like pink, pinkish. So look, we made a spaceship. This is alien activity, so yeah. So guys, let's work on getting the rest of the sprites in. So we have the alien. We have the space, oh, we already got that. We have the background, which is the scroll. And we have to get the right and left arrow keys. So we just need one, one of these, and a start button, which is just this button, and we just write start on it. So do that, white text, start. Put it in the middle and the there you go a start button 
And then now we have to work on the start button first because that's how it codes everything. And that's how you start everything. Okay, so um, I'm gonna put one arrow over here, one arrow over here. So they're both turning to the right, just change the direction. Like that. 90 is great. Uh, so yeah, really simple. Just make one pointing right and one pointing left. And then move the start button to the middle. I just like it up there, looks cool. So I'm gonna go in the backdrop, make a black backdrop. So just this and black. So I'm drag this and then it'll fit in. So now we have a black backdrop. So this is when the, all the stuff starts. But first, we gotta make the start button. So don't get too excited on what we're gonna do. Oh, that's not how to upgrade the laser. Laser. So a lot of you was not asking me in Rock Blaster, how do you get the laser? Where is the laser? So where is the laser? Oh my God, where's the laser? So, and so people are asking for where is the laser? So you actually have to listen really, really closely. You see this right here? It's button two. So button two, you should do a button two B. And this is how you make the laser. And you rename it the laser. Okay? So that's how you guys make the laser. But first we're gonna start on arrow one, which is the one pointing to the left. Um, so arrow one <laughs> pointing to the left. I mean, yeah, yeah, pointing to the left. So this one's gonna be pointing to the left. So I'm gonna code this up. So when the green flag is clicked, it will show. So arrow one. Uh, it will it will switch this sprite. Right clicked, it'll broadcast, go to previous previous costume. So this will make it go back a costume. So this is really tricky. I didn't get this on my first try either. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys are great coders out there and you guys can probably get there. Costume. I'll uh, put two O's. Go to previous costume, and then, then you also oh yeah start button. We have to start on the start button. So sorry about that, guys. As you do it, then this it will go to zero zero, which is just the middle. I don't know. I dragged it over there. You just do that, and then you go show, and then when this sprite clicked, this is the most important script that the, all this code. So do not skip this part. So when this sprite clicked broadcast new message start okay so start is going to be our key block here broadcast here so we have to have this because this is where it starts everything so some people sometimes skip the video so then they can get the parts for the code but this is really important hide and start and it'll hide that's all you have and then I'm going to go back to arrow one. So when I receive, so when I receive start, hide. So hide. So that's for arrow one. And then arrow two is pointing to this side. So I'm going to make arrow two like this. So when I receive start, And it'll hide if you're done selecting your skin. And then when this is clicked, it'll go to next costume. So you gotta make a new message called go to next costume. And then we're gonna do when the green flag is clicked, it will show. So we're done with the arrows and the start button. So now we gotta work on the spaceship to, for the skins. And then we gotta work on the backdrop about the um, scrolling. So, so when the green flag is clicked for the spaceship, then it'll switch costume to Space Invaders. Cause I honestly like this costume the best because it's from the internet. Oh yeah, remember, watch our Google Drive video because some people don't know how to download their Google Drive. And we, 
yeah, just go to our channel and then get it. And remember, don't use your school account. So basically, we'll have everything on the Google Drive. If you don't know how, just go to my Square project, export all the images, and that's great. That's that's also uh, also a pretty good uh, strategy as well. But I'm gonna switch this to Space Invaders because honestly, the my favorite. And I'll clear graphic effects because whenever you get hit, it'll change a color. So so I want to clear all graphic effects. Set size to 40%. Set rotation style to left right. So it will not turn around when it moves up, down, right, left, whatever. And it'll go to zero, negative 125. So I already have it at the position. And I gotta make variables. But first I gotta, yeah, make variables. So score, of course. Uh, and shield. So shield. I'm gonna drag shield to this side because that's how I even out my variables all the time. So when I receive start, oh, so it sets shield to something. I didn't even put it here yet. So set score to zero. Shield to a hundred. You can make a thousand if you want to. A billion. It it depends on you. So next we're gonna make the skins. So whenever when I receive, go to next costume. Then it'll go to next costume. That's obvious. And then, so this is the tricky part for the previous costume. So please do not skip this part as well. So go to previous costume, and then instead switch costume to costume number minus one. Costume number minus one because you have to go to the previous costume because if I'm out in Space Invaders It'll go to this blue rocket and if you click the previous button again, it'll go to this rocket and then this rocket So so you got to do when I receive go to previous costume So Yeah, so I'm gonna do the when I start here. So when I start oh my god still on that forever loop So when I start, it will go forever. Why is it always highlighted for some reason? Doesn't matter. It's not doing anything to affect me. So if on edge bounce, and then you need it if then, key right arrow clicked pressed same thing then it will change x by 10 and you just duplicate that to make the left arrow which is minus 10 and then move this up and then after that you gotta put the up arrow the thing I the thing that you gotta change to y instead of x so so up arrow, it will change Y. And then down arrow will be negative Y, negative 10 Y. And then that's down arrow, so. And then now we have to work on the background. So this is about the scroll on the stars. So I'm gonna show you how it works first. So, so as you can see, you can select your skin so I'm gonna select this skin. And can the previous button's also working. So I'm gonna select this skin and then you can click the start button. Nothing happens yet, but you can move around. And then we haven't fixed the galaxy things yet. So yeah, this is basically what we have right now. And then now we're gonna work on the background. So the background. So I'm gonna change the name of this from Untitled 13 to um, Space Ship. Add spaceship add venture. I think this is it. Game. 
Let's go see the adventure game. <laughs> okay, so same sort of game. Um, so now let's do the backdrop. So this is how you do the backdrop. So you just have to do a black screen, and you gotta make stars. So or obviously not gonna use this one because it's how it is. You make a circle. And use the reshape tool to shape this thing up. See, so, this looks like a star, right? So great. We just have to duplicate these and then make a, a lot of them around. So Control C, Control V, but do not put them up too close, or else you'll cut a star in half. Because if you put them up there, a new uh, a new clone is coming down already. So if you put one up there, one of the stars will probably be cut off. So just scatter them around the place. So try to put it around there. Don't put it up, okay? Well, you can if you want to, but chances are they will get cut off. So let's talk about the coding for background. So let's just delete sprite one. And then I'm gonna go to the background and it'll work on the code. So when the green flag is clicked, it'll go to back layer. Oh, where's that? Go to back layer. Yeah, this one. So go to back layer, it'll go to X00. I'll create clone of myself. It'll go forever, taking the laggy forever again. And then you need if then else. So if then uh, the Y position is greater than negative 340, then it will change Y by minus three. So it will go down slowly. So change Y by and then it'll go to X 350. And then now we have to do when I start as a clone. So when I start as a clone, go to X 350, just this. And then go to back layer. Go to back layer, where's that? It's right here. Back layer. And I'll go forever, the laggy forever, but I can just take that from here again. So it's basically the same code. It is the same code. Never mind. And then that's how it is. So look, a scrolling background is coming down. This looks nice, right? And there's a start button. You can switch your skins around. Previous button. Let's select this skin. I don't know why. Look, start. You can move around. So we haven't coded much yet. But I'll see you guys in the second part because we're obviously having a second part. There's already 18 minutes and 32 seconds, 33 now, 34 now, 35 now. So same thing. Yeah, seconds pass really quickly. So anyways, please like, share, subscribe, and comment what you had did for Easter and April Fool's Day. What funny pranks you did. We obviously did not do a prank. We, we face revealed on April Fool's. It was a real face reveal, guys. It was real. It was real. My brother just tripped. That's it. We're going to make another one <laughs> next April. So anyways, see you guys next time.